dear, my dear Mr. Natsume, why I must I interject. Read? Hold on, <laughs> why, why, did did, you? why did I suddenly read her line? That, why there's did no, you? there was no reason for that. Did, did you, did you want to voice Soseki? Did you miss voicing someone? With so no, I mean, if, if anything, <laughs> I should be interrupting you, Louis, the, the most. Yeah, I honestly, I have, I got nothing. I don't, I don't know why you did it. I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> I think File did read it while I was laughing, so. <laughs> so then, on to the burning question. What about me? How do you write my name? What's the kanji for idiot? <laughs> so, is that why all of your off-the-cuff deductions always seem half-baked? <laughs> oh, now why don't you? <laughs> what a wonderful insight into your extraordinary mind, Mr. Shrooms. Don't oh, Sasato! Oh, like to, to Sasato is like Maya to the Steel Samurai or something. <laughs> Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to the Escapades of the Great Ace Attorney. Uh, we are on the last two episodes, and then soon we will be able to start the Great Ace Attorney 2. Uh, I believe this takes place... I, well, I mean, like, Pat and Rolly are in this, but I think it's actually after Case 5 these last two ones are happening. I don't know. I don't think Susato's in this one, so we'll we'll, we're, okay. we're, we'll, we'll, fig <laughs> we'll figure this out when we get there. Anyway, oh boy, I can't. Susato. I can't wait to do uh, Rolly. Is it which one? Is it Pat or is it Rolly? Which one's the guy? Uh, I think it's Rolly. Okay, well, whichever one it is, I can't wait to do a high-pitched British voice while I'm recovering from a cold. Hey, oh, you too. <laughs> Hey, hey yo, same hat, same hat. <laughs> 30th of April, 12.20 p.m., Briar Road. I guess something's in the air. <laughs> 30th of April, and there is still a snowman there. Good good for them. Uh, it is Thought I wish that were me. <laughs> Someone, Constable Rolly Beat reporting for duty. Nothing a cold. Thanks to the good office, officers of North Van Seeks. Honestly, it kind of works out because Rolly's always tired. <laughs> He's yeah. probably always running a cold at some point. I'm back on my beat here in the capital, doing my best for the good senses of London. Sa. Okay, so wait, hold, hold on a second. Ah. Uh? I saw in the thingy that Sholmes is in this, and not a Hodo's in this. So who's Pat? Uh, I can stay Pat. I think Gina's in here too. You know what? Yeah. Oh. Look, look, look. Let's see, Fido is already Herlock. We're fine there. Yep. Uh, Lewis is the one who has too many characters. So who wants to play, I think, Gina if she shows up? No, I'll play Gina. I'll play Gina. Okay, all right, I'll take Ryanosuke then. Well, I'll just I'll just revert back to Ryanosuke. It's fine. Wait, or unless KV wants to take Ryanosuke. I'll take Ryanosuke. <laughs> we're gonna hot potato Ryanosuke around. <laughs> oh, my Rolly, back in his Bobby's uniform. You couldn't look any more handsome if you tried. Uh, my love, you say the sweetest things. No. <coughs> <laughs> oh, honey, are you all right? <laughs> I could be mad at It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Pat. Oh, Rolly. Oh, wait. Wait. Got, wait, we got it wrong. There, I, you know what? Whatever. Today's a weird I'm day. I'm still, I'm still nursing a cold. I, 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 it'll, be, it'll be okay. I'm still nursing a cold. Sorry. It's all right. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit out of sorts. It's alright. I still love you. Uh, thank goodness. To us, Lord Van Seeks isn't the Reaper of the Bailey at all. Oh, no, of course not. He's he's the patron of Saint of, Bob, of Bobby's. The patron Why saying? am I here? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes, Pat, you're so right, my darling. Keeping us in pocket here is... For my first day back on the job, what did I find in the gutter? A shilling, my love! A whole shilling! Oh, Rolly, I always believed in you! I always knew one day you'd find some big, small change! With just that shilling, I could buy you a cheap bunch containing a single flower, my sugar. A single flower? Oh, how romantic! <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Who are they talking? Are they talking at Ryanosuke? I like I don't even know, man. 
<laughs> if they want me to feel as sick as Lewis, they're doing a good job of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm so sorry, Pat. Only moments ago, that shilling disappeared. Huh? D disappeared? But but how, my love? How? I think maybe. No, I'm sure. It was this girl here, sir. You swiped my precious shilling, didn't you? You cheeky little diver. Okay, all right. Hang on, Gina. Gina. <laughs> Gina. Joey. Joey Wheeler. Gina was Joey. With, Joey yeah. Wheeler. Look an accent, and then make it higher pitched. All right. Yeah, female Joey Wheeler. <laughs> higher pitched Joey Wheeler. All right, I got it. Blind me. <laughs> you took your time getting around to me, didn't you? I thought that lovey dovey stuff weren't ever gonna end. So, a shilling, you say? Lifted from your word? Don't know nothing about it. What's the evidence, eh? Right here. The evidence is dancing around on the back of your hand, young lady. She, she always has that one. <laughs> you stole it from me. You lifted it from my pocket just now. You got a nerve stealing from a bobby. Joey, we... Okay. All right, all right. Switching between the two is difficult. It's, 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 it's fine. Do you, okay. Do you want me to take one of them instead, no. or? Oh no, no, okay. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. I can do it. Okay. It's okay. I have to. I was I'm... going from here, that I gotta go through here. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I, I know. I know how to switch now. Believe in the horse of the cards, Joey. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Yugi. Cobblers, this coin's mine. You know, anyway, it's literally my character model all the time. How did you know if it was taken just now or not? You could have dropped it. You don't know. Dear me, you don't get it, do you? We finally got a penny to our name. So that coin felt as heavy to be as a bar of gold. Eh? I'm telling you, the moment it left my pocket, I knew. I felt myself get a few, a good few pounds lighter. Ah! Yep, that coin has got my blood, sweat, and tears all over it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. What's the matter with you, eh? Mr. Nah, Otto? Uh, uh, huh? M me? Sorry? He's just here. <laughs> Why are you standing there letting this guy besmirch me? What's your problem? <laughs> I don't even know trouble. why I'm here to begin with. When a lady's in trouble, a true gent's supposed to be there to help. Straight away. Not an hour later. Well, it's only been about ten minutes. <laughs> it's been 84 years the way you've been waiting. This isn't my fault. I haven't stolen anything. What about you, eh, Sholmes? I thought you were supposed to be a great detective. Dear me, Miss Lestrade. You took your time getting around to me, didn't you? I thought that long dispute was never going to end. Thank you! <laughs> you only said give us a minute when we spotted you over the road and said hello. And that was ten minutes ago, Ginny! <laughs> We've just been standing here listening to you quarrel with this Bobby. Wow! <laughs> like I said, I've only been here for ten minutes. <laughs> I beg your pardon, madam. We shouldn't be traveling the public with police business. But that shilling belongs to us, doesn't it, Rolly? Of course it does, my love. It's just for you and me, my darling. <laughs> this was supposed to just be a nice stroll of Iris and Mr. Sholmes before afternoon tea. Why did we have to run to another fiasco on Briar Road? Briar Road's where... haunted. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Briar Road Taunted. This ghost? <laughs> oh no, let's Moon? not start with this. Moon's Haunted. <laughs> well, that's not good. I don't want to go to the moon anymore. Uh, I don't really see how we could be of any help, Gina. There's no way of knowing who the coin really belongs to if it was just dropped in the gutter. Be so sure of that, Runo. What? I have a feeling I might know the answer to the question of whose coin that is. 
Ah, uh, my bright young fellow lodger. Let us hear your deduction. God, I hate braces. Oh, you're good. <laughs> well, there's actually a reason why I suggested a stroll down Briar Road. Oh? What reason? You see, I was here yesterday and, well, I dropped a little something. So I wanted to come and look for it while enjoying an afternoon stroll. Wait, you, you dropped something? You, you don't mean... It was the pocket money that Hurley gave me. What's this, Iris? You dropped that, did you? I'm... I'm sorry. I went to the market on Lime Street yesterday to pick up some herbs, you see? But on the way, I must have dropped it. The one shilling coin you gave me. Oh! Uh, oh, what about bit? Yes, and when I thought back over the route I took, I realized I must have dropped it here. Constable, you haven't seen it, have you? It's all my pocket money, and now it's gone. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I don't know anything about that young lady. What rotten luck, dropping your money like that. Sorry. They're a little sus, but okay. I dare say the constable and his companion could give you a run for your money with their wide eyes. If it's all the same to you, Mr. Sholmes, I think I'd prefer not to be used as the yardstick for the looking for looking guilty. Well, it's tough really, isn't it, Iris? You dropped it, so it ain't used no more. Anyway, you know what they say. What goes around comes around. So don't feel bad. Bad luck, Iris. Doesn't look like you're going to get your coin back. Oh. I can't believe I lost it. And straight after Hurley gave it to me as well. You sure Hurley didn't just, like, swipe it back at some point? Like, two seconds after he gave it to you? Yes, regrettable indeed. I seem to recall that particular coin was rather significant. What do you mean, significant? To be specific, it was especially significant to you, Runo. What? Significant to me? Ah, uh, you don't mean... It was the coin from last night's wager? The very same, my dear fellow. Why do you all have the same co What is happening right now? Are you all arguing over the same coin? <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> What's this then? What wager? It was a game of poker. A duel between Hurley and Runo. Poker? What, that tricky card game you mean? For a shilling? As a lawyer, I have the perfect face. You'll never be able to tell what I'm thinking, said he. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, Ryo. Oh, Ryo yeah, Ryo yeah Ryo you, you messed that up. Ryu Nosuke poker face. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. No, no, he, he has everything up. Uh, 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 he's, he's readable like a book, man. Nope. Poker face, Ryu Nosuke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've never seen a man with less of a poker face. Even Phoenix Wright has a better poker face than you, Reno <laughs> And that's that's and that's saying something. But depriving Mr. Narhodo of his entire fortune was even easier than finding that miss that missing thoroughbred. Ugh. It's so infuriating. Reliving it now still makes me grip my teeth. Sorry, Iris. I had every intention of paying you back the money I owe you, but you'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Next month is fine. Let me guess, Odo. Your whole fortune? It was one whole shilling. My entirely... Wow, that sucks. <laughs> My entire monthly stipend. And I lost all of it! But your entire monthly stipend was a shilling? If it's just one shilling, Ryanowski, maybe you shouldn't consider playing poker with it. 
wait, and in the pre on the previous escapade, uh, Lord Strongheart wanted to bet his entire stipend on it. <laughs> he was gonna get nothing out of that deal. <laughs> oh my god. As I handed it over to Mr. Sholmes, I gritted my teeth so hard my gums started to bleed. Oh my god, my what god. are you doing? Runoski, please. <laughs> please, Runo, don't exaggerate. That's a horrible image. Yeah, yeah, Iris, you got it. <laughs> yeah, what the, what the hell, man? What about a lawyer who borrows money from a ten-year-old girl? Now that's a horrible image. Why do I feel like my reputation with this couple has just fallen through the floor? I want to hear from you two. You two just stole a <laughs> shilling off the ground. Uh, there are a few things worth, a few things more invigorating than taking a man for a whole he's worth. <laughs> wow. Don't be so pleased with yourself, Hurley. It's not as if Runa ever had a chance of winning. Wow. <laughs> Wait. What? What do you mean by that? Well, using that special ink I developed, anyone could... Thank you, Iris. That will do. <laughs> I'm sure this conversation is proving very dull for everyone. Oh no, I'm very interested now. What's this about an ink? What's done is done. The game is over now. There's no point crying over spilt milk. No, 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 no. Roll that back. Roll that back. I got a second. What shall you say? Well, sir, that sounds like the sort of risky business that's right up my alley. Oh, Raleigh, I love your dauntless spirit. You laugh in the face of danger. What danger? The danger of Herlock, I guess. <laughs> oh, then, Iris, spill it. What's the special link about, eh? Well, it's what's sometimes called invisible ink. All you have to do is write the suit and number on the reverse side of every card. And with the aid of some special glasses, the whole game is laid bare to you. Wait, you were wearing glasses last night, weren't you, Mr. Sholmes? Oh, God. You said something along the lines of, My eyesight appears to have suddenly worsened. Oh, boy. And the moment you failed to question that is odd was the moment I knew I had won the game. Oh, my God. Wow, victim blaming, huh, Sholmes? Okay, all right, okay. Mind games, was it? Trying to throw me off with your eccentric ways? So you're telling me, Sholmes could see every card with Naro Auto had? What? But that's... that's not mind games, that's blatant cheating! My dear fellow, what an accusation! Sir, that's what it is, though. <laughs> Would you honestly consider me a cheat? Please, I prefer... trickster. It's... A oh. trickster can be a cheat! Whatever you call it, the game doesn't count now, understand, Mr. Sholmes? No, I say it counts, it's, it's my favorite class in Fire Emblem. <laughs> What's Fire Emblem? Well, M Mr. Sholmes, you have to understand that Trickster hasn't been part of the Fire Emblem canon for quite some time now. <laughs> if you're using that class, that means you've hacked your game. That means you're still cheating. Hey, uh, hey Pat, what's Fire Emblem? Look, I bought the game. I'm allowed to do whatever I want with it. I don't know. I guess an emblem on fire? Why are you talking about an emblem on fire? That's, that's... I'm not sure. I guess it is rather cold out right now. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so, yes. <laughs> Dear me. Well, out of respect for the bad grace with which you take defeat, allow me to return your shilling. Did you hear that, Sheena? So give it here! Hey! Leave me out of this! This year one bar bit was mine from the start. No question. No, sir. That dead one bar bit was lifted from this here Bobby's pocket only a few minutes ago. So you keep saying? Come on, then. What's the evidence? Eh? The law, right? It's all about evidence. I know my stuff. I read a book. <laughs> I, Gina can't read, actually. I read a book. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know it that. I read a book. It had pictures in it. It, it had scales and <laughs> money and fire. 
You don't gotta out me like that. They don't gotta know I can't read. I read a book. I've read a book. You see, Mr. Naruto, use a trite excuse in court, and others will parry it and parrot it. Only whenever I uh, do say that in court, it isn't as trite as an excuse, you know. As I said, sir, the coin has got my blood, sweat, and tears all over it. Whatever glasses you got to wear to check that out, uh, please do. <laughs> That's right, it has! Rolly's blood, sweat, and tears are on the evidence! Hmm, not you say. In that case, it's time for this! Oh god, she's got a gun! <laughs> <laughs> ah, do, do you think... Well, if there's any trace of blood on that coin, we'll still know about it. It's, 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 a, it's a metaphor, but okay, all right. All right, Ginny, hold very still. Eh? What? <laughs> no, she's dead! <laughs> hey, Mr. Da- Oh, no, I've been shot! You should go let that happen! Look at that! See that co- See there on the coin? It's clearly changed color. Oh yeah, fine. Just don't pay attention to me. All right, that's fine. <laughs> it's not like I was just shot or something. Oh, like, it was fine, just smoke, Gina. Gina. You're fine. In other words, there is blood on this coin. Once again, as I said, sir, that would be my blood, sweat, and t Oh wait, I've seen blood turn that color before. Yes, I know whose it is. I know whose coin it is. What? The rightful owner of this bloodstained shilling is... Bruno! Huh? Me? And from the appearance of the blood, I would say it's quite fresh. Lit within the last 24 hours. Within the last... Ah! But in that case... Oh my god, he didn't really grit his teeth where he was bleeding! <laughs> grit his teeth on the coin? I know! Oh man! Oh so, uh, this is the coin what Sholm's had of, of Odo last night in the poker game? Oh, Runo! Do you mean you really did make your gums bleed? I told you, I was so infuriated to lose, I had to grip my teeth as I hands over the money. How... what? How did you get down there? Like... <laughs> that, that's Blimey. not how bleeding gums work. <laughs> Blimey, you as hard up as me by the sound of it. But I thought you had a proper job. Come on, Gina, just hand it over, would you? The shilling, that's rightfully mine. Ugh, fine, all right then. Just stop your bleeding stern. <laughs> Real, My you... eyes are also bloodshot. I have blood <laughs> coming everywhere. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you need to go see a doctor or something yeah. like... <laughs> I was gonna say. the kind of money I'm getting? I don't have the... I can't afford that. Well, just take your stupid shilling and go see a doctor, you... Yeah, problem is Ryanosuke is scared of doctors. <laughs> yeah. So good luck with that. <laughs> okay, then I'm taking it back. Uh, I finally have it back. It's like a dream come true. I nearly add that one in the bag and all. That's wonderful news, Reno. I'm so happy for you. Now then, as you promised, I like my money back, please. The shilling I lent you before. <laughs> Held on to it for only two seconds. You didn't say that you pay it back out of this month's bloody bucket money, didn't you? Oh, um, yes. Well, then, I suppose. Wow, it's just like paying bills. <laughs> <laughs> My dear fellow, do be kind to your gums. Looks like that shilling was always destined to be taken from you, sir. For some reason, the phrase serves you right is floating around in my head. What did Ryo even do? He he borrowed money from Iris and used it to bet, I guess. That, that, oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. What I guess that's yeah. the way to go around. Yeah, okay. So, Iris. As promised, here is the shilling I owe you. <laughs> You're repaying me already? Well, thank you. Next month would have been fine, though. Oh my god, Iris, you little player! What's it all about, anyway? 
What are you lending all the money for? Ah, oh, yes. Well, actually, it's because I went to the Lime Street Market yesterday to buy herbs. For Runo. Herbs? For Otto? Yes, the tea Miss Susana left behind is top quality Gyokura tea, but it's just so bitter. I like my personality right now. <laughs> so when Iris suggested mixing it with some herbs to make it more palatable, I asked her to buy me some. That's right! We made a special Japanese herbal tea with the leftover cocoa. Gyo oh, I can't do that while I'm trying to speak Gyokuro. like that. Gyokuro. Oh, yeah. No, I can't say it while I'm trying to speak <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm going to call it Susie's Special Blend. I do hope you'll all try it. The excruciating bitterness clings to the throat. If you can persuade the bright green gloop of to leave the cup. Why, it sounds quite delicious. You would think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he does know how to make burnt toast and eats it, so... Well, it would appear this shilling's brief adventures are now at an end. Adventures? You must agree, my dear fellow, that the coin has made a considerable journey since last night. Let's see... Originally, it was the coin I was supposed to give to Iris to pay her for the herbs. But then, in our poker duel last night, it passed to you, Mr. Sholmes. Who? Oh, sorry. That, that's 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 Eugene. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who gave it to Iris as spending money? But then I dropped it here sometime yesterday. Then my beloved Rolly found it a little while ago and picked it up. Before it was lifted from my pocket by this here diver. I then used my favorite gun to show off the blood that was on it. And let's slip about Sholm's little scam in his car game last night. The annulment of which resulted in the coin returning to the ownership of Mr. Naruhodo. Man, this coin's been through a lot. Allowing me to pay Iris back the money I owed her, after all. For the herbs she'd brought in order to make Susie's special blend tea. And now, after all that, the coin is resting safely in my pocket. This is a lot. Yeah, you're right, that was an adventure. Weird, though. <laughs> but what are we supposed to take away from it, eh? That this one shilling coin belongs to Iris and Iris alone, I think. Also, maybe don't bleed on your money. You know, like, I feel like... <laughs> I feel if, like that that I should mean, be a takeaway, like... If you've ever dealt with bleeding gums, that means that he was holding... He, the only way for that blood to get on there is he had been holding it close to his mouth, like almost in his mouth for the blood to get on there in the like, first place. Like, were you place. biting the, down on the shilling? Yeah, like, what were you that, doing? That's like what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, either way, the blood did help find out who the shilling belonged to. That is true. <laughs> not not the most ideal way to do it. I wouldn't recommend it, Mr. Riodoski, but you know. Also, I'm just I'm just finding it funny that it was like, oh, Gina, you have it. Give it back to Miss Nero. Oh, okay. Like at that point, Gina, just just run. <laughs> I cannot fault your observation, Mr. Norahodo. Well, you know what they say. What goes around comes around. Why do I get the feeling that Iris knew this was coming around to her from the very beginning? <laughs> Priceless, as they say. Well then, my dear fellow, how about this evening we indulge in some bitter tea and a bitter rematch? I'll even allow you to stake the coming month's spending money in advance. No! Just no! I fold. <laughs> Good! Oh, no. that, was, that, that was the Great Shillings Adventure. <laughs> the I'm going to do the Great adventure. Shillings Resolve. I fold. I don't I play fold. with cheaters. Bye. <laughs> oh, 
my god. Hey, hey, so Louis, guess who you get to play as? Ah, oh, finally. Van Seek's banging on the window. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> uh, I think everything is evenly spread out. He's not listed here, but I'm sure Mr. Gregson is here too, so we should be fine for like casting that. I don't have to move everything around, hopefully. We'll see. But anyway, we got one more escapade to do, and we'll do that in the next video. We'll see you all then.